In A Quiet Place Day One, we have gone back to the beginning of what happened before the creatures invaded the Earth. In Day One, we explore similar themes to the beginning of the second film, where we watch the Abbott family negotiate this invasion. Except this time, we're set in an urban environment in New York City. It's a completely different perspective, a different environment, a different setting, and this one is so much more devastating to witness. We meet Samira, who is on a day trip to New York when they arrive, and she has to adjust to this new world. And on the way, she meets Eric, a perfect stranger, who she has to figure out how to survive with. Trying to be quiet in New York City is no easy thing. An entire city of people figuring out the rules for themselves. If we stay here, we die. The world is coming to an end, and how does one best manage the emotional roller coaster? It feels very surreal because New York is so quiet, it feels very ominous, and you just think about survival. It's perilous. It's fastly paced and it's extremely quiet. <laughs>